morning we are off to crocodile world today never been to crocodile world before it's just near burford it's about 45 minutes away from where we live the prices for crocodile world has gone up when i booked the tickets last night it's now 14.99 for an adult and 11.99 for children which a little bit expensive hopefully it'll be worth the cost but we're going to take you along with us my mum's coming with us today so it's my mum my son and myself i'm going to show you what crocodile world is all about i am getting the anxiety of driving there i always get driver's anxiety does anybody else get that or is that just me i always feel anxious when i'm going somewhere new or i'm going somewhere a little bit further than like 20 minutes away uh, this is about 45 minutes away it should be fine i've drove to bognor regis before which is about four hours away from where we are it's not you know i can do it i'm just a little bit nervous um but yeah let's take you to crocodile world and see what it's all about here we are at crocodile world let's see what this has in store today okay thank you that's what's going on today pop it here we go. So prehistoric, prehistoric garden. It's a big crocodile here. Oh, what's all this about? We've got a map. Not as it's at the map, but we've got the map. So we'll see what we've got going on here. This shows how big all the different alligators are. I've actually got the dwarf one. Come on, we're getting there. Look, there's the size of a human, and he's the size of the alligators, Prophet. Look, look at that, and then a human. I think the alligators are bigger, don't you? Got these here, look. Oh, you got your map? Oh, well done. You got some, like, look like dinosaur heads, but they're not. I found the exit, look. You found the exit? Well, should we try and find the entrance first? Why are the crocodiles not moving? Can you see them? Yeah, they're there. They're real. Oh, yeah. They're not moving. They don't move, darling. They just stay still for a bit. They will move. Look, Cameron is there. Oh, there's one here in the corner. There's friends. Some turtles down there too. That's amazing. If you look down there, you can see the turtle underneath. Look, look, look. There's one over in the corner. Can you see him? Oh yeah, I can see him. You can see him. That's cool. These ones are moving. Can you see them moving? Look at them. Wow. Oh, I want to move the bottle of tail. Yeah. Oh, he's, like, he's having a good swim, isn't he? There. He's having a dance. This was that one. Yeah, with his little head. Oh, are you dancing with him? Okay. <laughs> one has got a name on, so you can see what they're called. This is called an American alligator. American alligator. Nate here, look, you can see him on the tree there, on the branch. This one, he is right up in the corner there, can you see? That's how he is. He's very small. Oh, there's another one here, look. Oh, he's got his face. Oh, look at that one. Oh, there we go, there he is. A lot of little people here. Luckily, I'm tall enough to go over. He did just climb down the tree, but we missed it. Did you see it? Awesome! I missed. I only caught the end of it. Right there. Look. What are these ones called? He's got a name on this one. What's it say? I just think he might not be tall enough. They're very, very small cages. Huh? They haven't got a lot of room. I don't really like that about this place. Oh, he's coming up. In this one, we have a python. I don't know if you can see, but he's right at the back there. Python right there. So we've got snakes and crocodiles, all we've seen so far. And we've got another one here. Just kind of floating there, isn't he, Puppet? Jake. That one's Jake, is it? Are we naming all the crocodiles today, are we? Here are the big alligators. There is a feeding time at 11.15 that we're going to hopefully get to, to see. And then right over in the corner, I'm to try and zoom in a bit for you. Look at all the baby ones. Baby, baby alligators. So cute. So hopefully, I'm going to come back later. Oh, they're moving, they're moving. 
No, no, he just lifted his head. Look at the size of them. Wow, awesome. Look at these little meerkats here. They're running away from me. Little ones there. These are really cool. Whoa, look at that one. That's yeah, fat. I like that. They're fat. You like that one there? <laughs> and we've got a little monkey here. Hello. Oh, oh he's um, having a bit of a scratch there. <laughs> Whoa. I don't know. He's quite cool though, isn't he? Looks a bit like Rafiki. And then we've got little tortoises here. Look how small they are. They're so tiny. Got some lizards or iguanas, I don't know. Are they the same thing? I don't know. Look at those two. The only thing I would say is that the cages are very small for them. I don't think they've got a lot of room. Yeah, that's a real one there. I can't really see his head. He's down. He's eating at the moment. But there's a big one over there. Can you see the big one? Oh, see the big one over there. Yeah. Oh, there's more over there as well. Look, there's two there. The giant one. And there's one there. And then there's one right down here. But he's eating. This one here in a croc house now. It's a bit stinky, isn't it? Bit stinky. We've got a big croc over there. Here we've got these. Other ones there. We have some more, but as you can see, this one's got his mouth open. As you can see all his teeth. I'll try and get around the other side a bit and show you properly. But yeah, some bigger ones here. We see the little ones to start with, and then we see the bigger ones as we go along. But again, that's the. Um, this is the size of it, guys. That's all they've got. Um, which I think is just a little bit small, really. I'm not really that much bothered about zoos and stuff like that, but I do think this is quite small for such large animals. There we go, as you can see. You can see right inside his mouth, showing his teeth and everything now. Quite big. Small paw, though. Wow. There are a lot of crocodiles just here. Look at all of them. There's some in the water down here as well. Move your hands for me, darling. Look at that. And there's even more over there. So I'm going to go at the top and show you how big it is. So this is the size of it. That's how big this area is here. And then down there are the amount of crocodiles that there are. So it just doesn't feel like it's big enough for them. It really doesn't, but maybe it's just me. But it's, it's a great place. It's a really nice place, very educational for them. I'm looking forward to the crocodile feed in a little while. So what you can do here is you can walk all the way around. So it's like, um, like a balcony and you can walk all the way around it, which I think is actually quite cool to see. Um, so you've got more on this side. Don't really know what's here right now. Oh, that's cool. So here you've got the glass what's it called perplex i don't know <laughs> that you've got here so you can actually see through which is pretty awesome and you've got another one just here that you can just see through uh, into the uh, water and then right down here is an absolutely gigantic <laughs> gigantic crocodile it is absolutely humongous. We've got one over there as well. You say you just walk all the way around it, it's sort of along the top. Which I think it's, it's quite cool. Very warm, very, very hot. Obviously it needs to be, doesn't it? But it's very, very hot. And then, yeah. and then here, as you can see them all hanging out here all on top of each other. Wow. It's a good little place. No, I just find it quite small, but obviously you can see they've got the heater there, which is why they're all kind of gathered around here, because it's hotter for them. But they're all just having a nap. And here's another animal with all those crocodiles together there. Actually moving over there. He's swimming. Can you see him swim? One crocodile's just started swimming just over there. 
And then right, and then right in the glass, you can see he's right in the window. Just here. Just move out of the way just for a second. Is he asleep? No, his eyes are open, aren't they? But I don't know, maybe he is. How do you know if a crocodile's asleep or not? Can you see his nose going? Yeah. Having a nice old laugh, aren't they? Wow! He's watching both of you, isn't he? He's watching you. He's got to see the little girl. Oh wow! Move out of the way. He's a picture. Move out of the way. Oh yeah, he likes the baby. I think the baby's mesmerised as well. Like, what the hell is that? That is so amazing. Yeah, look. I got it, I got it, got it. Here's a little play area for the kids. They've got a baby one over in the corner and then they've got the, the bit older ones here. Lots of benches to have something to eat as well, so that's good. And it makes a noise. So listen, what's it do? So push this button to hear what an angry mother alligator sounds like. If you hear this in the wild, you have to run. There you go. That's an angry mother alligator. Or an angry mother human. I think it's a lot more swear words than that. Yeah, we're having a little fight down there. Getting the food ready now. We're all starting to move over towards him. So, chicken eggs looks like what they're feeding the crocodiles today. Wiggle out of the water. 
There they are. You've got a massive one over in the corner, but he's not moving at all. That was my mum in the mirror. <laughs> that one over there is going into the water. He's having a little swim. Can you see him having a swim? Freshening up, look. So we're back at the monkey. He's having his lunch. Seems very happy there. Yeah, the red spot there. So right here. Over here. So actually, he's quite cute. I like him. He's so cute. I want one. Okay, so now we are moving into the gift shop. So as you can see, they had lots of artwork and prints, which I thought were really nice. Not something I particularly buy, but I thought they were really nice. Also had some water bottles here and they had these egg hatch. So you just put them in water and they slowly hatch. Over here, we started having clothes. So they had baby hats and baby bibs, which I thought was really cute. I've not seen them before in a gift shop like this. And they also had some crocodile socks as well. So if you wanted to do some clothing, but nothing big. Also had caps and woolly hats as well. They also had lots of hoodies, sweatshirts and t-shirts with the Crocodile World logo on or they had an, a Komodo dragon on, all different colours as well. They also had this like rangers vest which I don't particularly see what's the point but some people might like it and these t-shirts as well they had them in the beige color and they had them in white again they had the same prints on most of them but different colors and this was all different crocodiles that they had in their facility and they had that in white as well if you wanted to get that they also had them in smaller versions for kids so they had little kids crocodile t-shirts if you wanted to get a souvenir that way over here you had the soft toys so these were the snakes they were draft excluders they're absolutely massive my son wanted one i said no talked to my mum she bought him one but not the big one one of these medium sized ones the blue ones down there also had these wristbands remember you snap them on your wrist um god i couldn't do it to have my phone but I remember those when I was a kid. Lots of soft toys for alligators, lots of different colours, shapes, sizes. Uh, they had the tr traditional green one that you see on cartoons and they have white ones, which my son liked, which actually was quite cute. This was just for display purposes only, but they had that massive crocodile. And then again, more soft toys all the way down the bottom of different shapes and sizes. Komodo dragons and all different kind of animals. It wasn't just crocodile soft toys that they were selling. They were selling all sorts of soft animal toys and some of them were like £50. £50 for a teddy? Anyway, this little monkey was £6.99 and then you had some turtles over here which I really liked. I did like the, the sparkly purple and pink ones. Then they had snow leopards. There was actually a le snow leopard in the facility but it wasn't out so that's why there was no video of it. They had these mugs which I didn't particularly like. Just a photo mug, nothing special. Um, and then obviously they had all of these different soft toys again. Lots of different range of toys. There was a tiger there. There wasn't a tiger in there but they had lots of different ones. And then me cat teddy as well more mugs not really for me didn't really like the mugs but that was just me and then again they had all these different dinosaurs and everything else toys lots of books here educational books for all different ages and then you had all these different baskets where you had some slime i don't like slime i hate slime but my son loves it. Uh, things that you put your hand in and you snap like a snapper. I don't know what they're called. Anyway, you know what I mean. These little things that you squeeze and they jow and they just slip out your hand. Horrible. They had these Animix things where you could do a pick a mix of toys. Each toy was 50p, but you could do a bit of a pick a mix. Not seen that in a gift shop before. This crocodile at the bottom was just for display purposes only, but you could buy stickers, tattoos, build your own watches uh, there was lots of different things there and you also then had your rucksacks and you had some lego this lego here in the middle is what i bought my son he asked for one but i bought him the crocodile one in the corner there uh, lunch boxes water bottles binoculars they had all sorts of different things journals notepads and some more trucks and toys bowls cups all the usual stuff you find in a gift shop which is overly priced isn't it really overly priced but we tend to buy a little something anyway um, and then obviously you had some more toys down here as well and you even had some uh, rescue trucks that you could buy if you wanted to over here you had some more snack bands and 
toys for kids and postcards. They also sold necklaces and bracelets and friendship bracelets as well of all different things if you wanted to get those. Uh, they had turtle ones and elephant ones. Again, no elephants there, so I don't really understand it, but they were there if you wanted them. And you could even buy gift vouchers as well. And that is basically Crocodile World, but let me go to how I thought of it. We are back from Crocodile World. It was good fun. Um, I really enjoyed it. However, I don't think I would be rushing back to go again. My son loved it. He wants to go back, but he's going to go back with his dad. Um, I enjoyed it. I thought it was really good. It was very clean. Uh, the staff were really friendly. The enclosures for the animal was very small. I'm not really a kind of person about they shouldn't have zoos or they shouldn't have this because it's unfair for the animals. And it is, but... I like going to the zoo <laughs> and it's the only chance I'm going to have to be able to see wild animals really but each to their own I understand why some people don't like them but this place the enclosures were really really small in one area there were 36 crocodiles in one small part and it was so small for 36 of them um you would see it on the video before there was all these crocodiles um, on top of each other where they were fed and there's 36 female crocodiles in that place alone and it was really small for the length of the crocodile and for how big they are it was tiny and I didn't like that I didn't like that part about it it didn't take long to go round took about an hour and a half two hours and we went round twice um, we did stop and see the talk for the crocodiles. Didn't see any other talks, uh, but we did see those ones, which were really good. It was really fun. My son loved watching that. So we enjoyed it. I would recommend going if you're not too far away from Oxford Burford. We are about 45 minutes away from there. So it wasn't that far for us to travel, but I wouldn't necessarily travel two, three hours just to go to Crocodile World. If you're this way to go and do other things, then do put it on your list. There's the Cotswood Wildlife Park, which is about 10 minutes away from Crocodile World. So if you're coming around this area to the Southwest, those two things would be really good to do. You could possibly do them both on one day. I do love Cotswood Wildlife Park. I have made a video on it before. I will link it in the description box below, but I will also be going back and doing another video because my son wants to go back there again. Um, we have started to collect pins. I see them on different people's YouTube channels all the time and we don't have anything. We don't have anything that we collect to say that we've been these places. So we decided that we were going to start collecting pins. We have our first crocodile pin. Um, and obviously we're going to get more pins as we go out and about. But my son did say, now that we're collecting pins, mummy, we have to go back to all the places that we've been to get a pin. So prepare yourself for a lot of videos of places we've already been because we have to go and get a pin. So he's a clever little boy. He is a clever little boy. So Crocodile World, I would give a three and a half to four out of five. I wouldn't necessarily give it a five out of five, uh, but definitely worth going to if you're at a loose end, if you want to spend a couple of hours out and you are not too far away from Burford. It is actually a really nice place. So do let me know if you do go. Let me know if you've already been and what you think of it. It was $11.99 for children and it was $14.99 for adults. It has actually gone up in price. I don't think it's worth that cost. The cost before was $10.50 adults and $6.50 children. I think it's more worth that kind of money. But obviously, cost of living and inflation, what you're going to do. But it's still worth, worth a visit. That's all I would say. It's worth a visit. So if you've liked this video, do give me a thumbs up and I will do more of them. My son and I have a lot of things planned over the next few weeks. Comic Con is actually coming to our area at the end of April. So we are booking tickets for that, which we're really excited for. Yeah, we just have a lot of trips. On Wednesday, there is going to be a video of me announcing where we are going on holiday in 2025 that I'm super excited about. I can't wait to share it with you. So um, I'm going to be sharing that video with you on Wednesday. So don't forget to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss it. If you are new to the channel, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. If you are not new to the channel but yet to subscribe, then please consider doing so. And if you've already subscribed, commented, liked, shared, or joined my Facebook group, thank you so much for all your continued support. I hope whenever you're watching this, you're having a good morning, good day, or good evening, and I will see you on the next one. Bye, guys.